Hello, Virgos. We see here that you're coming to the end of a very tough cycle. But on the bright side, it's making space for a soulmate to come in. This is about no longer playing life close to your chest. Okay. This is about finally getting in the game. Finally participating in your life, in your work, in your love life, wherever you feel that applies. Let's see what else we have that goes with player hand. Oh, okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. And don't let your past hold you back. Okay. Hmm. There is a lot of holding back with this, isn't there? Previously playing your cards close to your chest. Don't let your past hold you back. The end of it. There has been some serious withholding here. And that it's coming up that it's caused some pain. Hmm. I'm sorry. It doesn't count. I'm seeing that, that there's been some of you that have had to had to make yourself smaller in order to accommodate someone or something else. Hmm. All right. Let's see what's going on for Virgo for the second half of December 2020, please. As it pertains to this theme. At least it's the end of a tough cycle. But it's full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn season is next. So hopefully it's that kind of soon. Okay. Let's get started. We have three swords. Yeah, there's that pain. Wow. First card. And that's the situation. The lovers. Oh. Ten of coins. Hierophant. Knight of Wands. Five of Swords. The Fool. Knave of Cups on the bottom. Knave of Swords. Are there any kids involved? There's some... Destiny to move toward your empress here at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. This feels like a breakup of a marriage. Somebody, it looks like the other person took a risk to get with a younger fire sign. Three of swords, lovers, ten of coins, hierophant, breaking up a happy home. I'm sorry if this is you. And it looks like this person it really is looking in the other direction to move. <sighs> Ouch. I'm sorry, guys. Because I'm reading this as you, reading this as them. You, you loved your person that you've, you've been with. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, please, the situation. Nine 
Nine of Cups. Ah, someone was greedy with their love. Devil. Ten of Wands. Connection became a burden. Eight of Swords stuck. This looks like this looks like the the um it's not that the feminine is moving there's okay, clarify the six of wands, please. I don't want to speak too soon here. Movement after being stuck. So they were they weren't happy. They weren't happy. Ouch. <sighs> What was the lie with the Seven of Swords? They knew what they were doing. Yep, they knew. High Priestess, Strength, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, Justice, and Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, Tower. Wow, there's some serious Scorpio energy there. Possibly with someone at work. Even heard at the law firm. Because the justice card. Tower. So maybe one of you. Your person. Is an attorney or works at a law firm. Ouch. I'm sorry guys. They were greedy with their love. This connection became a burden. Not necessarily to them. Could have for the both of you. There's a stuck energy that's finally moved through. Where this queen of pentacles, the feminine, got the idea that they can just move into being single. And they knew what they were doing. Okay. <sighs> Please clarify the lovers for my Virgos out there. <laughs> Ouch. This really hurts. Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Four, four of Pentacles. This, this is giving... It's giving love to someone else and withholding the love that you're supposed to be giving it to. The giving to. So it's the withholding of the two of cups so they can give the three of cups to the third person. Okay. Ouch. And here this whole time you thought you had the two of cups. As in mutual. Please clarify the Hierophant. <sighs> King of Swords. Emperor. Wow. The two most stubborn energies in the deck. The Magician. Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> there, there's the other like law reference when it comes to divorce of ready to do battle okay one more for this magician five of wands please Whew. 
Queen of Wands. Ace of Coins starting. <sighs> Mm. Fighting over the money. It's going to get really heated. That's what you're defending here. That's what you're being stubborn about. Because it looks like you gave the ten of coins. And now they're like, I want more money. There's the five of ones, Mr. It's, it's, it's going to be a fight. It is going to be a fight. Five of swords. Please clarify the five of swords. King of coins. Four of wands. Oh, both of them. Okay. The world, six of cups. Oh, hey. Hey, now. Nav of Wands at the bottom. Three of Coins, Sun, Temperance, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. So, th this, is, this is why. This is why this card is here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This connection has to end. Has to end. So the soulmate can come in. Okay. That, that's that's how this has got to go. And and I know you were in love here with this person. And you liked being married. You really liked being married. It's just no longer the right person. Let's clarify... The other person in the current relationship side. Oops. That's way too many. Four of swords is that can be nice though, depending on the context. Please clarify the ten of coins. Six of cups. Chariot. Ten of cups again. They they found they found their other person. They found their other person too. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Could be a Leo. Knight of Wands. Sun. Four of Wands. Four of Wands on both. But sorry about that. There's four of Wands. Yep, this is their. So it's like they found their person in a way that was wrong, and they went about it in a wrong way. Let's see. The Fool. Please clarify the Fool for them. Seven of Wands. Oh. Judgment. King of Wands. Ten of Wands. Three of Cups. Wow. Death High Priestess, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. Your your current, your spouse, living, whatever, your the person you've been long term with, they have found their person and they're moving towards them. They're not gonna let anything or anyone get in the way of them choosing their fire sign. And they're putting down they're putting down the third party situation and choosing them. This is done. And they know. They know this is over. Because they're looking into another partnership. They know that this with you is done. Wow. Woof, guys. Can we get anything positive here? <laughs> ah, can you tell me a little something, something about Virgo's soulmate that wants to come in after this relationship ends? It's 
a little rough. A little rough, guys. A little rough. Ooh. So, High Priestess, Queen of Wands. And that one wants to... Okay. Knight of Swords. Two of Swords. Ace of Wands. And Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. So, your person... Star on the bottom. This soulmate, or past slash soulmate, wants to come in really fast. But in order for that to happen... This current situation has to be moved on from, not just legally, okay? This has to be moved on from. High Priestess, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. This, um, this person is, you view them as sexy, mysterious, confident, intuitive. Just like this, this feminine energy is really powerful, and they are decisive. And this, this, this is a hot connection, okay? It's also a stable one. This is the person you want to give your Ten of Cups to. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands isn't just communication. That's the arrows of love. Love is on the way. So in order for it to land in your life, you need to clear a path for it. And that means clearing, the, clearing the, this old relationship. Okay. Because your current is going towards their person. You deserve to have yours. But you need to make space for her. I say her because she's showing up high priestess, queen of wands. In order for this connection to materialize in your life. This, you got to play your cards. You got to play your hand. This is, you, you, it looks like you've been dealt a crappy hand. And I'm sure it feels that way. Because this does look rough. But. This is also a part of the path to the soulmate, okay? You've learned all the things that you need to learn with this person. Keep the heart open. Heal it as much as you can. So you can have the Six of Cups. 